Hi everyone, welcome back to JPWHU TV. My name is John, your host as always, and I hope you're all doing well as I always do. This is the preview of West Ham's eighth home game of the 22-23 Premier League season, where we welcome Leicester City to the London Stadium. It's a happy coincidence that I'm wearing this blue t-shirt talking about Leicester. My allegiances haven't changed, just regardless of how shit the football's been week recently. We welcome Leicester City to the London Stadium for three o'clock kickoff this Saturday. Yes, Saturday afternoon, not on any UK TV channel, but it's great to have a three o'clock kickoff back at the London Stadium at least once this season. As always, this video is sponsored by the channel sponsor, 3 retrocom Please click the link in the description below that will take you directly through to the West Ham section of the website. But as you can see from the icon that's up here, there's also Leicester City retro gear in there as well, along with polo shirts, sweatshirts, t-shirts and track jackets made by Admiral and Umbro. So go check those out. Any purchases you make through the link in the description below, the commission that the channel would normally be getting, I'll be sending directly on to the charity Iron Supporting Food Banks. They're based in the Newham area and they're helping those in the Newham area and also in the Essex County as well for that matter to help put food on their tables. Guys, it was worrying to see over the last six months that 360,000 people and now, um, over the last six months, I've now had to turn to food banks because that's how difficult life is getting for them. So trust me, guys, there hasn't been a purchase for a while. Go grab yourself a really nice retro shirt or a very nice polo, track jacket, whatever you want. You'll be saving yourself a few quid in comparison to your respective club shop and you'll be helping those that are less fortunate than you and I. So, guys, seriously, 360,000 people in six months turning to food banks. We've got to help these people every way we can. Now, as always, guys, let's start off by talking about the officials. Now, the referee for this game, unfortunately, is Jared Gillett, the referee that was in charge of the Chelsea game. Will he bottle it again? I hope he won't. His assistants are Simon Long and Steve, Mer sorry, Steve Meredith. The fourth official is Josh Smith. On VAR is Chris Kavanagh, and his assistant is Dan Rabathan. So, Dan's... Not exactly in my good books because he's been a bit of a he's been up a few times and his decisions have been questionable. Not as much as Hatsidakis for the Palace game last Sunday, eh? But yeah, it's a it's a little bit of a worry we've got over it. But in in general, it's a good official appointment. I've just worried about two of those guys. That's the problem. Now our last six home games against Leicester shows we've won two, drawn two, and lost two. So it's any given point at the minute literally any given point Moyes' home record as a as a manager against Leeds in the Premier League sorry in against Leicester I should say in the Premier League I don't know why I said Leeds then uh, shows they've won four drawn two and lost none so odds on we're going to get something we have to get something we've it's been an absolutely dire set of two last games which I've mentioned in the in the um, full-time th thoughts guys and, for, and and also guys for that matter apologies for the intro for the palace full-time thoughts video um, intro being in the intro for the preview for the Blackburn game I don't know how that happened but I noticed it when I was editing last night for the uh, the full-time thoughts video but yeah apologies for that and trust me Q, um, QC on this channel is going right through the roof to get it absolutely top-notch for you guys now now Leicester above us on goal difference at the time of this recording at 14th with uh, four wins two draws and eight losses scoring 23 goals and conceding 25 of the seven away games they've played so far this season they've won true drawn none and lost five so again that's obviously not counting because it's an away game that's not counting their um victory in the in the Carling in the Carling Cup in the Carabao Cup shows you our old school I am and to any Leicester fans that are watching Fair play to you. You smash Newport County, as, as we'll talk about in a second. Um, and fair play to you. You know, we're not in the cup. So that's one less thing for us to worry about this season. Brendan Rodgers' formation um, seems to be on the road. Seems to be a 4-1-4-1 formation. So again, as I always like to say... With that sort of formation, a 3-5-2 or 5-3-2 or 4-3-3 for that matter is a really, really good way of exploiting the gaps and the areas where you can get into for that formation. Will Moyes do it? I fucking doubt it. I really doubt it. I'm not going to blame too much on Moyes last night because obviously once I got back and did the full-time thoughts video and reading stuff this morning, it was actually Warbur Warburton that was in charge of the game last night and not Moyes. So, <clears throat> but yeah, a fourth-tier manager being in charge of a cup game. When the team lack and confidence, 
Not good. Uh, Leicester style of play is taking long shots and playing with short passes, and they are very strong at shooting from direct free kicks and creating long shot opportunities as well. They are strong at stealing possession, but are weak at defending counter-attacks and set pieces, aerial duels, and also protecting the lead, and are very weak so far at defending against long shots. So if we had if the, if West Ham had a little bit more confidence, I'd say we could exploit something out of this. I'm really, really not in any mind to say that we're we're gonna have get anything out of this game because confidence is rock bottom for us supporters at the minute. But we need something going into the World Cup break. We really, really do. Now their highest goal scorers away from home are Harvey Barnes, James Madison, and Yuri Tillemans, all with three goals each. And their highest assisters is James Madison, Jamie Fardy, and Timothy Kasniga were all with two assists as well. So some really, really dodgy players in terms of very good players that we need to keep an eye out for. Turning to injuries, Pereira is out until mid-January with a calf stroke shin injury from what I'm seeing. Sonucci is being assessed for a hamstring strain. Bertrand is out with a knee injury and subsequent surgery that he's had recently as well by the looks of it. And it seems that Justin picked up a knee injury during the League Cup victory over Newport County on Tuesday night. But Johnny Evans is fit to resume training this week from his calf stroke shin injury. So that he may be on the bench. I'm not in the know in any shape or form, especially when it comes to Leicester. But I wouldn't be at all surprised if we see him in the squad. I wouldn't be at all surprised in any shape or form. Now, players to look out for, other than those we've just mentioned, Dakar is a tricky player. He's predominantly their centre forward. Perez, Amati, the goalkeeper Ward, or Brighton, Mendy, and Didi, you name it. We've really, really got to keep an eye out for him, as usual. But, okay, guys, for now what we're going to do is we're going to turn over to the Patreon analysis of the starting eleven that I think... Um, Brendan Rodgers is going to put out and the tactics we need to use to um, exploit those. If you want to become a Patreon, links in the description, £2.50 plus fat a month uh, to become a squad player or uh, sorry, academy player or £3 plus VAT a month to be a starting 11 player. So guys, let's now change over to the Patreon channel. Okay, so turning to West Ham, Lee said about the Palace game, the better. Very, very nervous for this game because of Sunday and because of last night, a heavily rotated squad um, for the cup game, yet still 80, 90% of what we, we were class as starting 11 players didn't do well enough. Go and watch my, my full-time thoughts video on that, um, quite frankly. Um, but looking at injuries, uh, Emerson has picked up a knock during that game, um, but I, I thought he played well. I thought he really played well. I, I, uh, he's one of the better players out there, but it looks like there's no return date for Corne as well. It was great to see that Moyes was bullshitting from one point of view um, about the injury to Bren Rama because he was when he came on, he was absolutely lively. For now's just superb, really was, and re very very angry being subbed off, and I totally get it. He was one of our standout players. He really really was. Um, but at the same point, guys, this is the starting eleven that I'm hoping that David Moyes is going to put out. I don't think he will in any shape or form. I really don't think he will. But as I said for the Patreons, um, we just now when we're doing the Leicester analysis, we need to go out all guns blazing for this game against Leicester. We need to defend for our lives and we need to attack for our lives. And bar one decision, which I know you guys aren't going to agree with, and that's fine. Because this is my channel, this is my this is my opinion. Not no disrespect to Rice in any shape or form, but the midfield three I'm about to talk, I don't think is droppable. I really don't think is droppable. So this is the starting eleven that I hope we're going to see. Ariola in goal with a back three of Kera, Dawson, and Zuma, Sufal and Creswell as the wing backs with Fornells, Downs, and Ben Rama in midfield, supporting Antonio and Skamaka up front. So thank you very much for your time, guys. Apologies if you heard the doorbell going through this video, but it can't be helped. You know, it's a house at the end of the day. Um, as always, put your comments in the comment section below. Let me know your thoughts. Like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already done so. If you're enjoying the video and you want to know more. And as I say, please do share if you can get this content over because we're, we're eight away. Somebody's resubscribed last night, which is fantastic. Thank you very much. Um, but yeah, we're eight away from 2200. So come on, guys. We've only got a few days. I know the numbers are starting to pick up again, which is good because obviously we, you know, we're all ranting left, right, and center at the moment but be nice to try and get some more viewers and new viewers onto the channel so like share and subscribe and i'll see you soon all the best now take care